In this video, we are going to take a look at the nitrogen cycle. So by the end of this video, you will be able to describe the components of the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is essential for life. It's part of building proteins, building our nucleic acids, providing energy for life, and most of the nitrogen in the atmosphere, so about 78% of it, is found in the form of N2, which is also known as diatomic nitrogen. And most plants or animals can't obtain nitrogen directly from the atmosphere because they cannot use this diatomic nitrogen. So we need the nitrogen cycle in order for all of our living things, plants and animals in on the earth to be able to use nitrogen. So let's go through the nitrogen cycle. So label A is our atmospheric nitrogen in the form of N2. And the first step that needs to be, happen is a process in B called nitrogen fixation. And so this is mostly done by legumes. So this is label C, our legumes. And these are plants like peas, soybeans, clover, and alfalfa. And they actually, in their roots, have what's known as nitrogen fixing fixing bacteria and so these bacteria are able to take nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into something that's known as ammonia which can then be taken up by some plants Nitrogen can also be fixed in the soil by other free-living bacteria, so not all of it takes place at the roots of these plants. Sometimes it takes place in the soil as well. Now, for label E, um, you can also fix nitrogen to make it into ammonia in a process called ammonification. So this is a big word. Let's write that off to the side here. Ammonification. Uh, the soil is a major reservoir for ammonia and other nitrogen-containing compounds. And so that process will then take that ammonia and or convert that into um, ammonia with the process of ammonification. Okay, so once we've got it in the form of ammonia, then from here, other bacteria in the soil are going to convert the ammonia into a product called nitrate. Now this process, F, is called nitrification, and it actually happens in two steps. So the first step is the ammonia gets converted into nitrite, uh, which is one form, and then a different set of bacteria converts it into nitrate. All right, and then from here, nitrate can be consumed by plants. So this is label I here, is that now the nitrate is consumed by plants. And so plants then use it and create various products within it. And then from here, our animals, mostly our herbivores, consume the plants. And so then they can digest those products and use the nitrogen to build proteins, to build in their DNA, to give them energy. But what then happens is that those animals, when they digest it, the nitrogen 
some of the nitrogen then becomes ammonia again. Now this is toxic for animals, so they ex excrete it in their waste and it goes back into the soil. So then it can be ammonification, go through the process of ammonification again. Now we need to talk about how our nitrogen returns to the atmosphere and this is through label K here through a process called, maybe we'll write it up here, denitrification. Okay. Um, this is performed by a variety of bacteria, fungi, other organisms, and essentially it does the reverse. So it takes nitrates that are in the soil, breaks them down, and releases nitrogen that pure elemental nitrogen back into the atmosphere. So that is the complete nitrogen cycle. You can continue it over and over again and that is how nitrogen gets fixed and used by various different living things within an organism and ecosystem.